Hey Church family, thanks so much for joining us for this week's Bible reading. This Sunday, the 29th of March, we will be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 17. Now I'm going to read that for us now, but a better way to engage with this chapter and a better way to engage and prepare your heart for Sunday is if you do the reading yourself, so that by the time we get to Sunday, you will have a better idea of what is happening. So 1 Samuel chapter 17, beginning at verse 3. So the Philistines and the Israelites faced each other on opposite hills, with a valley between them. Then Goliath, a Philistine champion from Gath, came out of the Philistine ranks to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall. He wore a bronze helmet, and his bronze coat of mail weighed 125 pounds. He also wore bronze leg armor, and he carried a bronze javelin on his shoulder. The shaft of his spear was as thick and heavy as as a weaver's beam, tipped with an iron spearhead that weighed 15 pounds. His armor-bearer walked ahead of him carrying a shield. Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across at the Israelites. Why are you all coming out to fight? He called. I am the Philistine champion, but you are only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and fight me. If he kills me, then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you will be our slaves. I defy the armies of Israel today. Send me a man who will fight me. When Saul and the Israelites heard this, they were terrified and deeply shaken. Now David was the son of a man named Jesse, an Ephraite from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. Jesse was an old man at this time, and he had eight sons. Jesse's three oldest sons, Eliab, Benadab, and Shimea, had already joined Saul's army to fight the Philistines. David was the youngest son. David's three oldest brothers stayed with Saul's army, but David went back and forth so that he could help his father with the sheep in Bethlehem. For 40 days, every morning and evening, the Philistine champion strutted in front of the Israelite army. One day Jesse said to David, Take this basket of roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread and carry them quickly to your brothers and give these ten cuts of cheese to their captain. See how your brothers are getting along and bring back a report on how they are doing. David's brothers were with Saul and the Israelite army at the valley of Elah fighting against the Philistines. So David left the sheep with another shepherd and set out early the next morning with the gifts as Jesse had directed him. He arrived at the camp just as the Israelite army was leaving for the battlefield with shouts and battle cries. Soon the Israelites and Philistine forces stood facing each other, army against army. David left his things with the keeper of supplies and hurried out to the ranks to greet his brothers. As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, came out from the Philistine ranks. Then David heard him shout his usual taunt to the army of Israel. As soon as the Israelite army saw him, they began to run away in fright. Now down to verse 32. Don't worry about this, Philistine, David told Saul. I'll go fight him. Don't be ridiculous, Saul replied. There is no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy and he's been a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I've been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it to this pagan Philistine too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and bear will rescue me from the Philistine. So finally consented. All right, go ahead, he said, and may the Lord be with you. Then verse 40. David picked up five smooth stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. Then armed only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight the Philistine. Goliath walked out towards David with a shield bearer ahead of him, sneering in contempt at this ruddy-faced boy. Am I a dog, he roared at David, that you come to me with a stick? And he cursed David by the names of his gods. Come over here and I'll give your flesh to the birds and wild animals, Goliath yelled. David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut off your head. And then I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and the wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescues his people, but not with sword and spear. 
This is the Lord's battle, and he will give you to us. As Goliath moved closer to attack, David quickly ran out to meet him. Reaching into the shepherd's bag and taking out a stone, he hurled it with his sling and hit the Philistine in the forehead. The stone sank in and Goliath stumbled and fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistines with only a sling and a stone, for he had no sword. Then David ran over and pulled Goliath's sword from its sheath. David used it to kill him and cut off his head. When the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they turned and ran. We're going to end the reading there. I encourage you, as I've said, to read this passage so that you're prepared and know what's happening for Sunday as we work through this 